to be completely honest, I'm here to feed my people, but I'm here to eat, okay? To update y'all, right now I am at Lighthouse Grill. Shout out to my brother Rico, Lighthouse Grill, my brother Mickey, Mickey's Grill, and of course my sister Fab. Can't believe it's not me. <laughs> and they trying to put your girl to work. Coming on, my bro Rico short staffed, and they got an apron for me. We finna see how this finna go. That's why it's this camp. I took culinary in college. Yes, I actually did take culinary in high school, but I did not get into full service because ain't no bitch for to tell me that she ain't asked for ketchup and she clearly asked for fucking ketchup. So, it's so no for me. Here's your apron. Oh my gosh. You putting me to work today? Putting you to work, glad to have you. Thank you come for on, having me. me. I know you're very busy. I'm glad that you made time to come help us out. We're gonna make these jerk chicken bowls. I gotta run over here with these customers. I'm gonna show you real quick what we gotta do. So we're gonna do that one jerk chicken bowl. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna grab a bowl. We're gonna grab some brown rice. Oh, yeah. We're gonna grab these grilled veggies. Yeah. We're definitely gonna grab the jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. so that's he was saying that shit fast as hell, and the whole time, all I was thinking about was eating it. Eat that shit myself. I wasn't thinking about nothing else. I didn't hear nothing he was saying. I was looking at that food and picturing it in my motherfucking belly. Grab some of this grilled corn. Yeah. Just a little bit of lettuce. We're gonna add this pico de gallo. Definitely mozzarella cheese. Yeah, that's that mozzie. That mozzie! Then we're gonna get that special sauce. That's that spicy mustard. That's that dirty mustard. Oh, that's that dirty mustard. Dirty mustard. Is it me or was that a little flirty flirt? It's about dirty mustard. <laughs> the dirtier the better. Once you get that lid, top it off. Now you're set. I need four more bowls. It's about four bowls. This is enough for me. One plus one equals two. Not four. How about two more? Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I'm PMSing right now, and I'm only really here for the food. I don't remember nothing that he said. I was just thinking about eating the food myself, and then on top of that, I'm PMSing. So not only am I hungry, but I'm mad. I'm mad at the at men's existence because why the fuck men don't gotta go through this shit? And then now I gotta come and you talk about I gotta make a motherfucking jerk bowl, and I'm not eating it. I'm in the middle of trying to make this food and lyrics ass color come out what I'm doing tonight. Bitch, I ain't doing nothing. I'm working. Right. Hello. Girl, they got me up uh, here. Swipe. Is it swipe? Uh, you need to hurry up. Bitch, I'm gonna hire you back. So this is how we finna do this. We gonna get a little rice. I know they want the rice. I know they want the rice. They tell my jerk, I don't think they need jerk. I don't think they want jerk. Might only have to get some jerk because it ain't no spoons for this one. So we gonna get the jerk. We don't want the jerk. I might get in trouble for you. the spoon for this. This is how we finna do this. We gonna grab this, they gonna get that chicken. Okay. Don't nobody got time for all that spicy food. Then we finna get us some uh, onion. Mm -hmm. What's that? Ooh, I don't know what that is. Beans, and yeah, it's enough. It's enough for me, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's the baked beans and the hot dogs, you know, that's a hood delicacy, so. Okay, I would really rather have some spinach. My fuck come out, they want lettuce. I don't want no lettuce. <laughs> that's enough for me. We're gonna get him some spinach. You got it? Yep. You know, I don't like when they be stingy. Uh, don't be stingy, we, need, we need some more cheese. Not on me though, in the bowl, in oh. the bowl. PSA. 
to all the workers, uh, you know, I don't want to say no name. When I ask for some cheese, don't give me two strands of cheese. Stop being stingy with the cheese. We need to start a movement. Stop being stingy with the cheese. Stop being stingy with the sauces. How you gonna give me 20 chicken nuggets to give me one sauce? Ain't nobody coming for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, okay. That order is done. That's pretty Don't good. To We're gonna pick one and let's hope they like it. <laughs> This don't have to work. Oh my God, I don't know what this is. Oh, oh it's the wrong. <laughs> now cover my mouth so nobody say nothing. Thank you. Hey, this is the wrong size. I done got the wrong size. And this size is gonna have to work, okay? I wanna take it, I wanna take it for myself. This 745. <laughs> the night finna cover last. <laughs> No, for real, because my best friend called me, and it's just like, this is just too much. Up in here, making jerk chicken bowls to go. Like, I want to go with jerk chicken. Shit. I'm so hungry. Appreciate our food workers more, because at the end of the day, it be hot up in these kitchens. They think an awful food that we can uh, over doing? to nourish right. our bodies. Thank you, Sandra, for coming by. You really were a big help today. Come back again anytime. You are always welcome at Lighthouse. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It was definitely a nice experience to see what's going whoa, on in whoa, the kitchen. Whoa. I think I got all the orders right today. I, so. think, I think you did okay. Hey, let me know what. what oh, they say definitely, about the definitely. Okay, thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right. Oh, shit. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't know. I was feeling some tension. So I didn't think he was going to take my gloves off. I thought he was just trying to, you know, touch my skin. I thought he wanted to feel my skin. <laughs> I forgot I had on a damn glove. Damn, it's dark outside. I've been here all day. <sighs> okay, you guys. I am so tired I'm cramping and I have a photo shoot tomorrow so I'm over it at least I got me some food though overall I enjoyed the experience just because I've never like worked in food service and um, just to see how fast pace it can be and how you gotta do it, it just gave me a little more respect for food workers than I already had. But um, yeah, it was a dope experience though. Shout out to Lighthouse. I was making great money for that age when the bitch got fired. And I was, I was happy for them 12 hour shifts though. I was just doing, I was waitressing and then I was doing shoots on the side and going to school full time. That shit was crazy. You see my new and Detroit. Detroit and stuff. Yeah, I was a I was I was sweet, but I'm also, you know, I was in Detroit too, so I'm like, oh, yeah, that's how I got my name. Shout out to my girl Sugar Milk. Um she's a dope ass photographer. She's recently actually moving out of Chicago, which is sad, but just shout out to her though. She dope as hell. Pictures came out real nice. And just her vibe and her energy was dope. Just the way that she taught me how to pose, told me what to do, and just guided me to make sure that I got what I wanted out of the photo shoot. It was dope. So shout out to my girl, Sugar. I used to like work at this like hip hop club and it would be like, the restaurant on the top. Yeah, I got, cause they, cause my real name is Hayden. So oh, okay. They, I was named after a comment, which is like the coolest part about it, like hating this comment. But mm -hmm. so I was working, I was like waiting on this table of rappers, and they kept calling me, you know, baby shorty, all that shit. So I had my little attitude, and I'm like, you gonna keep calling me over here? You need to use my name next time because I'm getting a little bit tired of this. And they asked me my name, and I told them Haley, and they're like, ooh, I'm not gonna call you Haley. <laughs> I'm like, damn, okay, give me a name then. So when I came back, one dude was like, you sugar milk because I'm sweet like sugar and my skin's like milk. Never. Right. What do you think when he said that? It was like, Ding. hell yeah, my manager leaned over the bar like, okay, sure. From that, from then on, it stuck. It's like damn near like a ten year old name at this point. So that call was from a. Uh, 
little friend of mine um he called me and told me that he had something for me he had like a little surprise for me and told me to come downstairs <laughs> what this nigga want <laughs> I really love flowers. I love when a man gets me flowers. I just think it's so thoughtful. It's um I want you to look at flowers and think of me. So like I just love when a guy does small things like that. It's the, it's the little things that count and I feel like flowers are a small gesture that can mean a lot. So guys, step your game up. Get her some flowers, okay? What you gonna do? I'm gonna go downtown. What you, um, just text me. How long you gonna do? Uh, probably like the next couple hours. Okay. Okay. See? Ooh! Cause I'm cut. It's me seeing uh, your reaction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't did nothing wrong, but all I did was get some flowers. I ain't do nothing wrong. But get a little flower. I thought he stepped out real quick. He did yesterday. Oh. I thought he did today. Somebody else did today. <sighs> baby, if you see that, that's just for the camera, babe. That's just for the camera, babe. You know, I was just having a little issue with my, you know, little main thing and whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I told him that, you know, I like flowers and whatever. This nigga gonna say, dude, why, why should get a plant? I don't want no fucking plant. I want some roses, nigga. I don't want no plant. Okay, I could plant my own plant. I want some roses. Okay? So, like, yeah. It is what it is. And then my other little friend wanted to bring me some flowers. So, I let him and then he goes trade E thinking that it was the other guy. But it was another guy, you know what I'm saying? Ah! I'm lying though. I'm lying. I'm really lying right now. So, baby, if you watching this, I was lying. But let's get into this chocolate shoot though. Man, that shoot was so dope. Just the vibes. It was amazing. The pictures came out amazing. It was one of the best shoots that I ever had. So, again, shout out to Sugar Milk. And comment below, what do you want to see from Santa 101? Thank you for watching Santa 101. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out 
click for the post notifications and the next episode will be even more interesting i'll be diving into more hold on this is my bitch lyrics hey, hey santa, santa we're not done yet hey, hey santa cut the fucking camera